Only on 6, getting the absolute best price on a new car. More and more consumer groups are offering an alternative to new car buying. Yes, and they've partnered with the popular internet car buying service, TrueCar.com. But some experts say you may not be getting the best price. Mm -hmm. News 6's Eric Von Aiken investigates and shows us how you can get results and save some money when car shopping. One of the biggest names in new car buying these days is a site called TrueCar.com. TrueCar shows you what other people paid for the car you want. You've probably seen the ads the service promises to get you the true price, the actual price you will pay at the dealership. You get what the site calls a great price and you don't have to haggle, but is it the best price? These days we're finding that it's really not offering great prices often uh, to its customers. The executive editor of Consumers Checkbook, that's a D.C.-based consumer advocacy nonprofit, told me via Skype, True Car may save you the haggling, but not a ton of money. There's a better way. And we strongly feel like the better way is getting competitive bids. TrueCar doesn't mention anything about the best price, but rather admits right on its website it gives you a better price. And it explains in last year's SEC filings that TrueCar dealers pay the company fees to provide dealers with introductions to consumers. Stock analysts confirm this arrangement. TrueCar gave us quotes from three different local dealers on a popular SUV, the new Infiniti QX60. The best price was almost five thousand dollars below MSRP. Consumers Checkbook, though, says it called all of those dealers and talked to the fleet manager or sales manager and told them they had one shot to send over their best price. The difference? One Infinity dealer in Tampa offered $6,500 below invoice price, not MSRP. By getting competitive bids, on average, we beat True Car by $1,300. Kevin Brassler says something else you should know. Dealers pay TrueCar a referral fee to send over leads. And TrueCar pays big-name consumer groups like AAA, AARP, and Consumer Reports to generate those leads. We asked all three. They wouldn't discuss their financial arrangement with TrueCar, but Consumer Reports and AARP admitted they do collect a fee from TrueCar. That's not the way it should work at all, especially if you've aligned yourself with really consumer-friendly organizations by getting competitive bids, they can really be assured that they're getting good prices. We should point out here, Kevin's nonprofit Consumers Checkbook offers a service where you can hire them to get bids for you. They'll charge you 250 bucks. But as you heard, you can do this on your own. And Consumers Checkbook tells you exactly how to do it. We put a link for you to their step-by-step -step instructions inside this story at clickorlando.com so you can get the absolute best price. A True Car spokesperson says its dealers are obligated to honor the price that True Car gives you if you use that service. But if you do want to haggle, sometimes you can still negotiate. Negotiate that price, True Car says. Eric Von Eichen, getting results, new six. I think it comes down to who has the time to haggle. Like if you, mm -hmm. I, don't, yeah. I don't mind a good haggle, but some people, you know, I gotta it's get like, in let's and just out. get it done. Yeah, I mean, I'm at the point where I just call and say, hey, listen, if you can get it under this price, call me. If not, I'm not going. <laughs> I've asked before, hey, I've had this from one dealership, mm -hmm. and another dealership mm -hmm. said, there's no way that they offered that to you. And I said, well, yes, there is a way. I'm walking <laughs> out, and I'll go buy it from them. Yeah. Big mistake. Right. right. I mean, got to do what you got to do. Yeah.